Hello, today I'm going to talk about displaying and printing large worksheets. So this is a really large worksheet. It's my go-to thousand row worksheet with a bunch of information about baseball players. Um, when you're looking at the top, you're looking at row one, this is fine. I mean, there's a lot of data, you know, really without filters and such, it's not worth much. But I can see that this is Lance Berkman. This is his position. He bats this, he throws this, his height's this. And it works fine, and you know I could see the same kind of things about Scott Rowland. But where things get a little bit more interesting is when I scroll down. I just go down just a little bit, right? And if yeah, that looks like a name, if you're a baseball fan, you could probably guess that that's probably a position. But what's this, right? Like what's this? What's bats? What's throws? What is this number? What is this number? The problem is that I don't have a uh, set of row headers up there. So there's kind of the digital and the print uh, aspects of this. So if I wanted to address this in a digital format, like right now, if I were to click in cell A2 and I headed to the View tab, I could freeze panes. What a freeze panes means is that uh, everything above and to the left of the selected cell is going to remain on the screen. It doesn't matter where I'm scrolling to. So I click here, I freeze them. Now when I scroll down, you can see there's no point where I don't know what's going on. Here's Willie Mopena. And his height is 75, right? It doesn't matter. If I'm in row 1000, the data is still meaningful. So freezing panes, uh, very useful skill. But uh, let me show you something else. If I want to see a print preview, which is something I'm going to access from file, print, this looks good. Like, this is awesome. This is just what I wanted page 1 to look like. But when I go to page 2, that is not good. Right? We've got that same problem. I mean, right? it's like, what is this? What is this? Uh, the problem is that I need to repeat some rows at the top of every sheet. So notice that the way it looks, this digital version and the print version are different. So if I was just concerned about displaying this in a digital format, I would just freeze panes. I'm going to unfreeze those panes by going back to where I came from. And notice that now I've got like a more accurate representation of what it's going to look like when it prints. So there's a couple cool things that you can do to help your document display better. One of those, which really works well sometimes, it's going to work really terribly this time, though. It's under the Page Layout tab. Page Layout tabs where we're going to be spending most of our time. Notice by default, it's automatic, automatic for width and height. Now, if you've got something that's just kind of slightly wider than or hot, taller than a sheet of paper, you can scale it, right, in one page. And what this means so I don't know how much stuff is there, but it is all going to fit on one page. Now, when you've got 978 rows, this is not going to look good. All right, I'm going to head over to print. And sure enough, well, I guess it could not quite get it all on one. I don't know how that works exactly, but it's certainly not what I wanted. Um, this works really well. Uh, I, I, it kind of makes sense to me that there's maybe just a theoretical... Uh, maximum of, of data you can put on one sheet that didn't quite work for us fortunately there's a better solution uh, if you just had maybe 50 rows maybe you'd want to go with that scaling option uh, sometimes it's a good one and sometimes it's not All right, so when I switch it back to automatic you know here and I head over to the print preview it looks like it was expected now there's a better solution than trying to just fit everything on one page. It works great if there's maybe 40, 50 rows, whatever. If it's just off the page, then these are a really good way of doing it. Um, but there's a better solution, and that is accessible a couple of ways. I'm going to head into the page setup dialog box. You're going to go here enough that you might as well be familiar with it. You can do things here like messing around with your headers, footers, margins. I'm going to head over to sheet options, and I'm going to go rows to repeat at top. So when I froze panes, I had this row displaying at all times. So I'm going to click in rows to repeat at top, and I'm going to click on the row heading for row one. Notice it's kind of obscure, absolute reference to row one. I click OK, and nothing happens until I head over to the to print preview. Now this looks good, and this looks good, and this looks good. So this is kind of the equivalent of freezing panes, but it's going to be more print friendly. So those are kind of two ways of doing the same thing. The last thing that I want to show you is this is an, I can't do a great example of it with this data here, but let's say that I just wanted to 
when you press the print button, I just wanted to show this data. And so this is not a great data set for that, but sometimes you don't want to print everything out, right? I mean, there might be some formulas or just some things that you're not trying to present, but you make a decision about what you're going to print. Then you're going to head over to the print area, set print area. And so what that means is now when I press the print button, this little piece right here is going to be what is going to be displayed. So if I hit the file, I go to print, you can see that I set the print area. Like I said, this is a weird data set for that, so I don't know why you would do that here, but there are times when you would want to do that. I'm going to clear that print area. The last thing that I will show you, because we're talking about printing, more or less, is this grid lines. So when, notice, when I print this, well, this is actually a bad example because it looks like a table and it's perfectly readable. Um, but most data doesn't look like a table. You've got grid lines right here. I'm viewing them. You can turn them off, right? They don't, that doesn't do anything. It just makes it more readable. I'm going to leave them on, but they don't really show up when you're printing the worksheet. Like these ones weren't showing up. What you are seeing is the borders. So again, bad example, but if I, if I click this, then I head over here to print, you can see that now I'm getting grid lines there. Sometimes you want those to show up when you print, sometimes you don't. Notice I kind of solved the problem by just formatting the data as a table in the first place, and, and that was probably a good decision. Thanks for watching.